We're here today at the Bread of Life on 3rd Avenue in Port Alberni, and let me tell you, it is looking pretty darn spiffy here. Pamela Day, what's been going on? We've been getting the community involved in making this a clean and bright and a welcoming place for people to come and eat. It's just looking wonderful, and I'm sure it makes our guests feel a lot more welcome when they come to eat. Now, I have to say, we have been down here with the camera so many times over the years, and it really does change the whole feeling in this it building. Does. Why did you decide to do this? Well, something's been needed doing for a long time. We had the outside painted. That was a real necessity. And the inside we just wanted to do, and we were able to get some help, and away we went, and it's been done. Okay, Pamela, you say some help. I'm sure there was a lot of help involved here. We're going to talk to Joanne Lamb because, Joanne, you stop by to eat at the Bread of Life every now and then. What do you think of the Renos? I like the Renos. Okay, you like the Renos. How come? <laughs> How come? What does it make you feel when you come in? It makes it different. It's a different, I don't know, it's a different atmosphere. And I think we were talking a little bit before the camera went on. You've been coming for a while, haven't you? Yes, I've been coming for about four years. I have a part-time job at this and that. Uh, my very first cashier job. Yeah. Joanne, that's a lot of responsibility. That's a good success story. Do you think coming to Bread of Life and meeting the folks here has maybe had a little bit to do with your success? Yeah, I have a lot of people, a lot of friends and family that support me. Yeah. yeah. Well, good on them for supporting this fine lady. Thank you so much for telling me about it. Now, you said you had a little bit of help. Come we, on. <laughs> we had a lot of help. This community is the community that comes out and helps. Board members were here painting. Volunteers were here painting. Some people donated paint. It's just been a wonderful experience. And as you know, at this time of year, it's, it's the time of year when we really need to think about these things. We're again $20,000 short of our budget and hoping that Port Alberni will come out and again help us keep this place going for next year. We have something new happening this year, hopefully. We're hoping to be able to open and feed people on the weekends. Because as you know, people are hungry on Saturday and Sunday too. And to date, we haven't been able to open on weekends. So we're hoping now we'll be able to do that. And we're asking Port Alberni to help us too. And you know, I think sometimes folks out there who drive by the Bread of Life kind of take it for granted. They don't understand. You don't get any government funding, do you? We don't. We get a small grant and aid from the city, but we get no other money from the government. The money comes from the people of Port Alberni, and it's given to the people of Port Alberni. So it's a real in-town thing. It is an in-town thing. It is a wonderful way to give back to the community. You better stop down and see this spiffy new bread of life yourself. <laughs>